you want to find an attorney who understands the law. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time zone you are in. My name is attorney Justin Camper, and I'm a criminal offender located in the state of Indiana. And I'm here to talk to you about five tips to help you decide on picking the right criminal defense attorney. Let's go. Okay, so you have been charged with a crime, and now you have to make the most important decision um, out, outside of pleading guilty or not pleading guilty to the crime. You have to make the most important decision to figure out how to handle these charges that you've been found with. So um, what do you do? You are on the hunt for an attorney. And I'm sure that um, as you search on Google, as you search, as you see billboards, as you see flyers, you might have a bunch of flyers in the mail, the mail advertisement, and you're trying to decide on who is the right attorney to pick. Or maybe you might be in the boat where you have already chosen the attorney. And you're trying to figure out, is this the right person that I want to stick with on the long haul? So let's talk about it. I am going to give you five tips to help you pick the right criminal defense attorney for your case, okay? All right, so tip number one, you want to find an attorney who understands the law, clearly. And you want to find an attorney that understands the law that you are being charged with. Okay, just like there are different attorneys for different things. There might be a uh, business attorney. There might be a bankruptcy attorney. There might be, um, you know, an attorney that specializes in federal. Uh, there might be an attorney for different things. There are attorneys for different areas of criminal law. Okay, now there might be an attorney that uh, that does do, you know, a variety of areas of criminal law, but not every attorney does. So you want to make sure that your attorney is familiar with the laws with you, what you've been charged with, okay? So for example, there are attorneys that um, specialize in federal cases. Well, federal cases are a lot different than state cases. So you wanna make sure that you have a federal case that you're talking to an attorney that is fully understands what you've been charged with in your federal case. There might, you might have uh, a child who's been charged with the crime, or you might be that child who's charged with the crime, and you're a juvenile. So juvenile cases are a little bit slightly different from state and federal cases. Uh, you may have been charged with, you know, a very high level felony where it is a murder charge or, you know, attempted murder. Um, that's a lot different from, uh, from a drinking and driving charge or a simple theft charge from Walmart. So you wanna make sure that the attorney that you're talking to has a full understanding of the, the type of charge that you have been charged with. He fully understands the law in that particular area. And like he can help you, he or she can help you on the right path. The second tip that I want to provide to you on helping you choose the right criminal defense attorney is I want you to make sure that you pick someone that can listen well to your story. One of the uh, slogans on my website I have is uh, fighting for your story to be heard. Uh, quite often, I talk to different clients and they just want someone to hear their side of the story. Uh, there's you know, a lot of cases that could be beat if the other side of the story was heard. Um, you know, there. I'm sure if you look at something one-sided and you hear one person's side of the story, you're thinking, Oh wow, this person is guilty until you hear that other side. And so your side of the story matters, right? I, as an attorney, I want to know the details. I want to know what happened, your reason for doing it. Even if you did do something wrong, I want to know, understand your mindset. What was your reason? Why did you, you know, get in that car and why, and you knew you were intoxicated or why did you hit that person? I want to know your reason. I want to understand the full details. So make sure you have an attorney that's actually listening to you. Um, there are attorneys out there that don't listen to the clients. They think they know what they're doing. They've dealt with this case a million times and they just want to rank, rank, rush you, right? And they don't want to actually listen to you. So you want to make sure you find an attorney that actually is listening well to your side of the story 
and listen to the facts and story. It can really help you in your case. Number three, number three tip I want to give to you to help you choose the right criminal defense attorney is you want an attorney that can communicate well, that can communicate well with you, that can communicate well with the prosecutor, the state, and that can communicate well with the judge. Um, you don't want an attorney that, that that you can't understand, that talks in big terms or, you know, that just, you know, there's just a language barrier or whatever it is. You want to find an attorney that you can, that you, when you speak with this attorney, you understand what they're talking about. They're able to break the law down to you in a very simple way. They're, they're able to explain to you what your defenses are. They're able to explain to you why the state have probable cause to charge you. So you want to make sure that you are talking with an attorney that can really, really break it down to you and help you understand, you know, what you've been charged with uh, and that can communicate well. You, you want an attorney that can speak well with the prosecutor. You want to watch how he talks with the state. Is he rude? Somebody that, you know, the state rolls their eyes, at, you know, just because you, we are on the opposite side doesn't mean that we can't be respectful. That doesn't mean that we can't be polite. You want an attorney that, that you know, sometimes we have to take the state or the judge in order to advocate for our clients. But, you know, a lot of times we want to actually work with the state because they don't have to do something, right? There's a lot in the discretion of the state. And, you know, having an attorney that can, you know, articulate well with the state to try to work out a reasonable plea offer to help reduce your charges down, to help you avoid a felony, to help you avoid jail time. You want to make sure that you are talking, you have an attorney that can communicate well, um, well with the state, well with the judge, and well to you, um, and to help you really, uh, to help really advocate for you. Third or fourth thing that I want to give you as a tip to uh, making sure that you choose the right criminal defense attorney is finding an attorney that is accessible, okay? Often I hear from other clients uh, who have maybe hired other attorneys who have hired me, is that they have tried so many different methods to get in touch with their attorney and they have not been successful. They've tried calling, they've tried emailing, and this attorney do not respond to them. How I don't understand how uh, you can operate a business and, you know, people pay you and you don't contact. You know, for me and my clients, you know, I have them schedule appointments because I can't, I'm ripping and running, I'm doing law. So I can't, you know, just pick up the phone and talk to everybody that calls all the time. But I do have my clients schedule appointments. Uh, if I can't get back to them, if it's a quick question, I have my assistants get back to them. And my clients, I tell them, you know, they always can schedule a meeting to talk with me in person. You can come to my office, we can talk in person. I don't charge you know, additional for having quick conversations. Or you can even send me a text. Uh, we have a, a line for people to send text messages for quick questions. So uh, you want to make sure you find an attorney that is accessible, that can you can talk to, and you can actually, you know, have someone a professional relationship with. Uh, you know, of course, attorneys, all of us are busy. So you can't find an attorney that's just gonna pick up the phone every time you call, but you want to at least have someone you can have somewhat of a working communication with. They are contacting you back, you know, whether it's a few days or a week or so, but it shouldn't be months, you know, months and months going by, you you cannot get into your attorney. Uh, that should be unacceptable for you and make sure you choose the right attorney that is accessible. Number five, my last tip that I want to give, and I have a special bonus tip at the end. Number five tip that you want to make sure that your attorney has it, uh, which is probably the most important tip <laughs> um, if you want to hire a criminal defense attorney, is you want to find an attorney that is willing to fight on your behalf. Again, I repeat, you want to fight, find an attorney that is willing to fight on your behalf. And I say this because you would think that, oh, of course, I hire an attorney and they're gonna fight. They're automatically gonna fight. No, that's not the case, right? Some attorneys aren't willing to take cases to trial. Some attorneys aren't willing to file a motion to suppress or uh, to file a motion to dismiss. Uh, some attorneys aren't willing to try to push the prosecutor a little bit more. 
um, to get you, you know, a, a, a different plea offer, right? Some attorneys aren't willing to do that. And so you want to make sure that, you know, within reason uh, you, that you have an attorney that's willing to fight for you, that's willing to push for you, that's willing to, you know, do whatever it takes to put you in the best position possible. Right? That's one of the things that we pride ourselves on here at Justin Careful Law. And I have a bonus tip for you to make sure that you look at this when you are choosing to hire right from this attorney is to try to find a local attorney who is familiar with the judge uh, or the state in that particular area. So typically, at least out here in Indiana, uh, the uh, prosecutor's office in uh, the state of Indiana it comes down to criminal charges are broken down by county. Um, and then those counties have different courtrooms. Um, the bigger counties obviously has, you know, a lot of courtrooms, different courtrooms, smaller ones have you know, a couple courtrooms. And you want to make sure that you uh, find an attorney that, you know, that's familiar with that area. Now, granted, this isn't a, a golden goose. This isn't the catch all be all because sometimes, you know, I have been hired to work in places where I wasn't necessarily familiar with the judge and I was able to perform a good job for uh, for those clients, but you want to typically hire someone who is local, who can help you, who, who knows the, the, the landscape, who knows what a judge likes, and knows a certain paperwork and things that need to be filed. So that's a bonus tip that I gave for you to stand, for stand at the end. So just to wrap up, recap uh, everything that I've spoken about, five tips that you need to keep in mind when you're trying to hire a particular criminal defense attorney. Tip number one is that you want to find an attorney that knows and understands the law that you have been charged with. Number two, you want to find someone who listens well to your story. Number three, you want to find someone who communicates well with the judge, prosecutor, especially you. You want to find someone, number four, who is accessible someone that you can reach out to, communicate with, and have a conversation with when you have questions and concerns about your case. And tip number five, you want to find somebody who is willing to fight for you on your behalf. And in a bonus tip, try to find someone local who knows the judge or the jury. Uh, oh, no, sorry, who knows the judge or the prosecutor um, in, in your area. So hopefully those tips were helpful for you. I am a local uh, criminal defense attorney here in Northwest Indiana. That's the uh, part of Indiana that's super close to Chicago. And so uh, they call it Chicago land, but I practice actually in all of Northern Indiana. So if you are in that area, uh, feel free uh, to reach out and offer a free 15 minute consultation to evaluate your case, uh, to quote you on a price and we can talk in depth about you know your situation i can give you my thoughts for free um, you just gotta call the number and i'll give you an appointment my system will set you up for an appointment so uh, thank you again for listening uh, again i really hope that this was helpful for you and i'm looking forward to talking to you i'm looking forward to seeing your charges get dismissed um, and of course of course of course always 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 remember to stay legal. My name is attorney Justin Camper and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching this video. I'm so glad that you are here. I just want to put out a disclaimer that even though I'm a licensed attorney, you should always consult with an attorney in your specific jurisdiction before you take on this legal advice. This is more so like legal information and uh, general legal advice that you can use, uh, but you should always follow up with your own attorney in your local area, or give me a call that I can give you personalized legal advice. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this information. Please like and subscribe so you can get more information about how to protect and grow your business. And always remember that I would love to hear back from you. So please put your feedback in the comments. And if you had any uh, other uh, legal topics that you would like for me to discuss for your business, Please make sure that you put it in the comments. And remember, stay legal. Thanks. We're your favorite attorney, Justin Camper.